So this is exactly that moment when you realize that you came here for a technical meeting and all you get is a history lesson. <laughs> so uh, let's, uh, let's begin with the history lesson. The year was 2011 when everything started, relatively small, with a project called Envry, which was the result of a sort of an epiphany. In their implementation, the research infrastructures realized that they face similar challenges and the need for a closer collaboration became evident. Envry built up in, four, in its four years of existence and uh, as a natural result, the Envry Plus project came to be. This project grew and evolved uh, in what nowadays it's known as Envry Community currently bringing together 26 uh, research infrastructures, oh, sorry, that are studying different aspects of the Earth system and uh, that provide research products from all four subdomains of, of the Earth system, as you can see, atmosphere, marine, solid earth, and biodiversity. The Envry community is considered a success story due to its enhanced cooperation, to its approach to studying the Earth system, and to the ability to find joint solution to common problems, and the list, of course, can continue. 14 research infrastructures are listed uh, on the latest edition of the S3 roadmap, meaning that they are the most advanced in their operation and the, serv and the services they, they offer. And they are the main producers and providers of environmental research data in Europe. However, by the time Envry Plus ended, which was 2019, and EOSC started to be the thing in the European landscape, there are only 13 S3 level infrastructures that formed uh, Envry Cluster. We can think now at every cluster as being like the core component of the European environmental research infrastructure landscape, um, with every community as its congregation, if you want, or better say, better say, common forum for collaboration and co-creation. The clusters functions under the project that you all know as Envry Fair. Envry Fair aims towards the provision of services according to FAIR principles, the highest priority being the provision of high quality data using uh, open licenses, standard mechanisms and protocols. These are the main, main objectives of, of our project. So the first is the development or continuing the development of common standards and policies for data lifecycle with specific consideration of the FAIR principles. And here a big emphasis is uh, put on interoperability, aligning these policies and standards with more extensive, extensive European uh, policies, but also further developing, uh, developing the tools and the methods created by Envry and Envry Plus projects. Then it's to improve the skills of RI's personnel through extensive um, training. Open science is evidently at the core of everything Every Fair stands for, that goes without saying. Uh, establishing cohesion uh, with the global research infrastructure landscape, including regional, regional and uh, international initiatives in the environmental sector. In terms of innovation potential, Every Fair aims as um, stimulating common pre-commercial procurement processes and the uh, dissemination of outcomes and those in enhancing the uptake of research infrastructure services by private partners. What is missing from this picture um, is another, dare I say, essential goal, that is the exposure of thematic services and tools from um, research infrastructure catalogs to the EOS catalog of services and other end users. Environmental research infrastructures provide data of all kinds, which are crucial contributions to monitoring the state of Earth, but also for defining future policies. So one of the main goals of Envry Fair is implementation and further development of data and research services at RI and subdomain levels. Uh, ensuring a high level of standardization uh, at the whole cluster level, 
and moving towards a shared uh, approach to, to EOSC. A key added value to, to the RIs can be, of course, a wider, wider findability and accessibility of RI data and research services for the general public, and of course, beyond the uh, usual, the traditional every scientific communities. Can I, yeah, I can. I have been mentioning until now data, 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 data. Of course, data represents the baseline for, for the scientists. Uh, as in their hands, data becomes information and information becomes knowledge. And in best, best case scenario, knowledge ultimately leads to wisdom. But every, Embrys don't create data just for the sake of data. There is a, an underlying uh, strong scientific reason behind what they do, both se separately and collectively. The climate change crisis. Fighting climate change requires easy and fast access to trustworthy, high quality, well-documented observations that capture the complexity of the Earth system and the interactions between, uh, between its components, atmosphere, land, and ocean. At their inception, uh, research infrastructures were developed to, to uh, respond to the needs of uh, specific research communities based on individual requirements, offering only a limited view on aspects and, or, and phenomena, phenomena of, of the Earth system. But such challenge, fighting the climate change, that is, brought uh, more proeminently the necessity of interdisciplinary scientific cooperation, the need to transcend the boundaries of disciplines and domains. Uh, in this way, uh, within Envry Fair, the interoperability and harmonization of research infrastructure operations are strongly taken into account to address the environmental uh, challenges that we face today. Every fair cooperation is not limited only to in environmental research infrastructures. Uh, within the uh, EOSC ecosystem, Every Fair is one of the five cluster projects covering a broad range of scientific fields. Uh, life sciences, of course, ours, environmental sciences, um, social sciences, photon and neutron uh, sciences, and astronomy and particle physics. They, the clusters are all key players when it comes to provision of data uh, and services uh, to, to their specific research communities. Of course, they are different in nature. However, their requirements and expectations and what they can offer towards EOSC are similar. They also have, uh, have a, a common view on, on what EOSC is. In their view, EOSC is built on three pillars, as you can see here in the, in the slide. Infrastructure consolidation, which is basically an European Federation of IT services, participating in an open science crusade, uh, which has been unfolding extensively all over the past years, just to improve the credibility and the reprodu reproducibility of science. And last but not least, uh, the scientific communities bringing both content, such as data and tools, and of course the users themselves, because there is no EOSC without users. But how exactly will Envry Fair achieve all this? How the researchers will reach high quality, open access environmental data provided by the contributing uh, Envries? how the subdomains will be integrated, how all the services will be made available. How do we ensure the coherence of methodologies and technologies for verification process across subdomains? The answer to all these questions and everything else rests in every hub, a federated machine to machine interface. It is seen as a one-stop shop for researchers to access the data and services in environmental uh, area, but also an interface to the European Open Science Cloud. So today is all about Envry Hub, and you will hear plenty in the next presentation. So my history lesson stops here. Thank you very much. Jako, back to you. <laughs>